All right, guys, welcome to Alan Wake Walkthrough, part 15. We're at the part where we have to find a vehicle I just showed you guys. We were killing off a couple of those guys, and the time was running short. So let's pick up again right where we left off. As always, remember, I'm going to be doing a lot more of these more often, so be ready for them. In here, we're going to fight a few more enemies, so be prepared for it. Okay, don't let the darkness corner you. I've just figured that out. Don't let them corner you. I'm gonna turn this down just a tad until we get to the spots where, you know, you need the volume. Then I'll turn it up. Because I would like to be able to talk a little bit. Okay now, it says, in the light you can hurt them. Little tips like that, it'll give you little tips like that to help you survive along the game, do certain stuff to kill the darkness and indirect means. If you do that 50 times, I don't know what they mean by indirect means really, but if you kill 50 darkness by indirect means, you'll get an achievement. And um, I'll pick Mr. Manuscript page. Killing them by indirect means, I have no idea what that means. I think they mean by like flashbangs or different means of that other than a weapon, cars. Okay, and right here, you're going to want to stop right here. Right here is where you can get an achievement. If you can kill that tractor, don't let it run you over like I just did. Okay, go ahead and just toss a flare. Let it run into that flare. So that's gonna hurt it a lot too. This is where you can actually get an achievement, so you're gonna wanna stop and fight this guy. Now I of course already have the achievement. I of course already have this achievement for this walkthrough for this spot right here. Um Save your flares because you wanna kinda concentrate them on this vehicle here. Kill off these guys. If you have any flares, which I don't think you do anymore, or flashbangs. If you do, good job for you for saving them. Okay, there you go. Kill them off. What you're going to want to do is run into this really small corner here. Throw a flare. Nothing will get near you. Open this up, pick up whatever you can out of it, and then walk. Back out, start flashing this guy with your flashlight. Because you're going to want to dwindle that truck down. It might take you a little bit more on hard difficulty, but... There you go, you have no more enemies to fight. Now you just got to worry about this. This achievement's actually really easy to get on normal mode. Poltergeist objects like this go down without a fight at all. Boom. That would give you, I think, 10 gamer score for taking him down. And then look at this. We got a little guy right here thinking he's going to take me out. Thinking he's going to punk me. Okay, always grab these supply boxes. They'll supply you up for the round. They'll give you a little bit of supplies for what you have up ahead. There's actually another one right over here. You're going to want to grab that one too before you even get to the vehicle. 
since this is such a long chapter, you're going to want to stock up on everything you can. Revolver ammo, I'm pretty much good. I'm not even going to grab any of that. Batteries, flares, and flashbangs is mostly what you want to worry about. Okay, because I think there's a cutscene coming up. I'm going to turn her up a little bit. Stand under the light. You can get a checkpoint for taking this car. I have never been this glad to see the sunrise. I had a couple of hours to get to the coal mine. Sweaty. Um, there's also another achievement opportunity coming up right here. That would be to run from the coal mine. Today. From the coal mine to. Here, I'm gonna pause it for a second. There's an achievement if you run from the coal mine to Cauldron Lake Lodge in 30 minutes. And I. Hey, Alice, I wouldn't give him any other choice. A drowning man will clutch him straw. Little by little, without realizing it, I'd come to believe that the story in the manuscript was coming. Alice had been taken from me. Barry was probably in jail. I was a fugitive from the FBI. The whole world taken over by the Dark Presence was trying to destroy me. It all felt real. But it matched a textbook case of insanity. Actually, I'm going to ditch the truck right here and just grab the good car. There's nothing up in that room that I do remember of being important. Maybe a manuscript page or something, but I'm just going to cut that for video's sake, for time's sake. And just grab the car and start driving. See how much of this I can get into the 10 minute squeeze here. supposed to meet the kidnapper at noon in the main building. The coal mine was quiet. It was a museum now. Okay. So now we've gotten to the coal mine. Oh yeah, also read the signs so you can get the Bright Falls aficionado achievement. I don't know how you feel about a thousand in a game, or if you're just going to play it and then mod the gamer score. That's your own thing. I didn't want to go outside. Cops had to be looking for me. The new sun turned the place into a sauna. The day dragged on. Different scenarios ran through my mind. Ways of how I'd tortured the kidnapper to get Alice back. Or the different horrible things he could have done to her. I imagined her dead. I had no way of knowing she was still alive. It was killing me. I was running on blind hope. It was all a waste of time. The bastard never showed up. Okay, so we're running at about nine minutes right now. Wait, where the hell are you? Change of plans. You know where Mirror Peak is? It's a big mountain north of where you are. You follow the path from the mine, you can't miss it. There's a lookout point there. I'll be waiting. I'm through being jerked around you by you. You see your wife alive? As if you do, you better watch what you say to me. Do we understand each other? I want to talk to Alice. Yeah, and I want the miniscript. Don't keep me waiting, Wake. Hello? Hello? Ah! I'm gonna kill him! I had to get to Mirror Peak. 
Okay, and that's where I'm going to end this video. Throw this one up right away.